Hello everybody and welcome back. As promised at the end of part 31 I said I would do uh, a briefer video to cover the uh, main mast starfish. If you remember I had a lot of trouble uh, in part 31 building the main mast derrick uh, and particularly the rig on the derrick which didn't go according to plan and took up most of the week and as a result we didn't get very far in that video. So we're going to catch up a little bit. I'm doing some extra this week and getting the starfish built. There's a little section of main mast to finish off with a small platform and then the starfish sits on top of that. So I'm going to get straight over to the bench. Let's get the starfish done and then we'll have caught up for this week. OK, so we're on page 14 of the Pontos instructions here. And... I want to deal with two elements really. The first one is this platform here which sits directly on top of the main mast cap which is already on the model. Then we've got this short extension which leads up and supports the starfish which is this second element that I'm going to be dealing with. I'm going to start uh, with the starfish. I want to get that done because I don't want to be messing about with this part yet. These uh, braces here which go up to the starfish uh, are quite delicate so I don't want that uh, lying around on the bench for too long. So we'll get the starfish sorted. That should be quite a strong construction when it's all put together with all these braces on the underside. So uh, let's get that one sorted out. So the main starfish platform is this and it's obviously to be folded over on itself so that'll double the thickness of the brass and should make it reasonably strong so that's the first thing i'm going to do then we've got all these fillets to fit underneath fillets or braces and we have this uh, small uh, cubby or locker which sits on the platform above and there'll be a railing as well to go around the outside so uh, let's get this sorted out. I'm going to be soldering all of this together. I want uh, quite a lot of strength in these braces. And that should stiffen the whole assembly up nicely. So having tinned the starfish, that's just been folded through uh, 180 degrees so it's double thickness now and I actually use my heat gun to melt the solder into place and then I just went round all the edges with the iron uh, just to seal the edges up so that's gone together fairly well and because these end pieces here are so thin and fragile I want to go ahead and sort out the braces underneath just to give them a bit of strength and I've already fitted the starboard one here so the brace extends all the way to the end of the spar here and just provides that extra support for the part because this is still fairly vulnerable at the minute and I just, in fitting these braces underneath, you just need to be careful to make sure that the mast which fits into place under, on the underside here uh, will still go in. So the braces go flush up to the top of the mast, like that. So I want to fit this next brace in here just to support this uh, fragile uh, tip here. So uh, this is the brace that we want. It's got a little pendant on the end with some etched detail on it, just some relief detail which I'm having facing forward on these parts. So these go in place like so. There's a small engraved slot or line etched in the starfish on the underside 
and that just helps us locate this uh, bracket. So this is going to be soldered. Put one of my uh, solder grains at the end there. Locate the brace. Just check that the mast still fits. That's fine. So with those two uh, braces in, these delicate spars are a lot more protected now. <laughs> okay, so that's the first two really important uh, of the braces to fit. So that stabilised these delicate. Uh, Spars, I'm calling them. That might not be right. And just check again that the mast is still going to fit. Which it does. And these are actually, although there appears to be four braces, they're actually just two parts. Uh, because they fold back on each other. So they're just joined at the front end, at the at the apex of the uh, supports. So that would be this one, I guess. I want to get the bend on these as accurate as possible. I just want to drop some solder in the uh, space here on the internal part. It's not, uh, it wasn't fitting properly and it's because there's a little stub on the end which just needs uh, to be filed flat. That's better. So these supports will be doing a similar job in miniature to uh, what the actual supports did. The next few parts I can more or less fit uh, dry because they interlock with each other. So this one here with the slots in it goes all the way along the back edge here. and it's held in place with some other brackets so these all interlock and then they angle out towards this end of the starfish. So that just needs a little angle bending on it. So I'm going to do them section by section I think. Get that angle right on that part first. So they've gone in okay. So 
I'll give this a good clean up underneath here and then we can uh, move on and do the railing along the top and then there's a little storage box uh, that goes in the front corner here. So I've got all the braces in which uh, wasn't particularly straightforward but they've got in eventually. So I've replaced the pendants here and I robbed those from the Trumpeter etch brass set. Uh, Trumpeter provides this fillet here with three pendants actually on it which isn't right but I was able to cut those off and just fit them into the places where I'd broken the Pontos ones off here and I added these two outer ones. These two on the outside were for signals halyards and the two inner ones that Pontos did provide are for the helm halyards. So the starboard one on this side will have a green ball uh, on the halyard uh, and the port one here will have a couple of red cones eventually. So that's the main component of the starfish done. The uh, next thing I want to do is just fold this little box up and this fits on the front of the starfish platform. There we are. Now I should really solder this but I'm so scared of uh, undoing the brackets underneath if I apply heat. I've only got one type of solder so I'm not going to be able to uh, use a lower melting point solder. So I don't take the risk. I'm just going to use some thick super glue to fix that in place. Okay, so this is the main mast starfish done. I've given it a coat of uh, etching primer. I just want to make sure that the top mast will fit through the hole. It is possible to just fill the holes up with a bit of uh, this primer. So I just want to make sure it's clear which it is. This platform here sits on top of the uh, main mast. Uh, on top of the cap that we fitted last week like so and this pin on the bottom of this part of the main mast just goes through and attaches to the top of that resin part and the top mast goes through the starfish and through the platform below so it will end up in that sort of configuration In terms of the assembly sequence, the next thing I want to do is just fit the railing around the edge of this. Which is this part. It has a tiny little cutout to fit over this bracket here, which is for the gaff. I'm just going to uh, super glue this into place, this railing. And that's because I don't want to risk uh, desoldering the brackets and the gaff brace here at the back. The gaff itself, this is the ensign gaff, just fits onto the top of that uh, little pin at an angle. But I won't be fitting that until much later on in the assembly, more probably when I come to do uh, the rest of the top mast and the rig. So we'll get this railing fitted next. You'll notice that uh, this part did have some stays, which are these here. So it looked like uh, it was a very spidery sort of part when uh, we first saw it at the beginning of the video. And they didn't survive my attempts at soldering, so I decided to remove them altogether. Uh, and I'll fit them. I'll just glue them into place once this uh, platform's fitted to the bottom part of the mast here. I'll just transfer that to something that's going to be a bit easier to handle.
So with these uh, complicated shape railings it's just a case of gradually working round and just making the slightest little bend at a time. Don't try and do it all at once. And you're looking for the bottom railing to conform. We can adjust the top and centre rails once the bottom rail is glued into position on the platform. So it's coming closer into line. Getting there with it. I think that's about right. And I'll, uh, I'll just tack that into place now. That's one side. So I'll repeat the same for the other side of the platform. Just gradually work round. Uh, then I'll prime this part before fitting it to uh, the bottom of the starfish. So having uh, worked round, I've just been in again and put some more super glue in, some extra thin, and that's uh, sealed everything up nicely. So that's as strong as it's ever going to be, I think. Obviously, these parts are very delicate, so I don't really want to delay getting them painted and fitted. So I'll prime that now and we can assemble it to the bottom of the uh, main mass starfish. So that's the platform with the railing in place. So I've just gone all the way around the edge with some uh, thin super glue just to bind all the joint along the edge. And well, it's not massively strong but it will do until we get the part on the model. So I'll get this platform fitted. It goes here at the bottom of this section of the main mast. And I'll use the top mast to line it all up. And I'll be using some 5 minute epoxy again for this. Because I want a really uh, strong bond at this point. This, this small platform sits directly on top of the cap that we fitted. The resin cap from the Pontos set. So I'm looking to get this square and obviously vertical. With the epoxy I just want to clean off any excess I've got a little bit around the bottom there. Uh, that's not going to be noticeable once it's painted. This is going to be black. So uh, it will hide a multitude of sins. I don't want to get lots of glue on this pin at the bottom because this fits into the uh, resin part on the cap. But uh, I just want to make sure that that glues properly surrounding the join. Okay, I'll just leave that to set up. This is a five minute epoxy, so I usually give it about a quarter of an hour before I try and do anything. And I'll just check how it's getting on by keeping an eye on the palette here.
Okay, so I'll just leave that to set. So I want to fit this railing on top of the starfish now, and I'll just put a drop of super glue, thick super glue, into the corners just to locate the railing to start with. So again just into the corner it's difficult to know where to hold on to these parts when they've got so many bits of detail on them Now that's where I want it, I can just add a drop of thin super glue. So that's just gone into the corners and I can persuade it round the outside. I'm going to leave it at that. There's enough on there to hold it. This ladder goes up the back end of the mast here. I think it's going to have to go in from the top. So I'm putting that down through the manhole. And I'll just attach it at the top, uh, close to where it, close to where it emerges through the manhole. I'm not going to fix it at the bottom. I'll just make sure it's straight. Can refit the stays now, which are these that uh, I broke off earlier on in the video. Okay, so that's had a coat of paint. Now that's Tamiya's Rubber Black, which hides a multitude of sins. It's very difficult to spot any uh, errors, so I was fussing over the things that I wasn't quite happy with. Uh, my soldering went awry once or twice, and I ended up needing quite a bit of clean up on some of, that, some of those parts. I shouldn't have worried really, under a coat of black paint, uh, that comes out fine. So uh, I'm fairly happy with that. I know it's difficult to see uh, on camera actually. So let's take a look uh, over back at the ship. So the starfish sits something like that on top of the main mast. But I'm going to need to clear out the hole on the top of the mast cap. Uh, I've just got uh, the glue that I've got, the epoxy that I've got on the underside there, just preventing it from sitting properly. So that just needs some adjustment before it can be finally fixed in place. Okay, so 
I'm going to put the starfish somewhere safe. I'm not going to fit it just now because I want to work out how the top mast goes in place uh, and whether or not to build the top mast on the starfish or build it after the starfish is fitted to the model. The top mast actually penetrates both platforms of the starfish that as you've just seen back at the bench and it attaches to the rear of the main mast cap here on a little bracket. So I just want to think through how that all goes together before I commit to cementing the starfish into place. But I wanted to get this uh, video to catch up with part 31 where I intended to do the starfish as part of the main mass construction but obviously that would have made that video far too long. So that's an extra one for this week. So for the rest of the week I'll be working on the ship's boats or at least some of them. And that will be coming up in what will be part 33. So the extra video this week means that we're on 33 on Friday. So I hope to see you then for that one. In the meantime, until Friday, stay safe everybody and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.